is you know make make recommendations, put forward your uh, proposals uh, to the consultation in parallel to whatever other response uh, that, that, that you want to take to that, because we will listen. I'm not always going to say that we can agree, but we will listen. You're not listening there. Okay, thank you, Chairman. Um, and then, Commissioner, I wonder if you could answer the, the lady at the front here's concern about 50% increase in population and the risk within our hamlets. Will we still be able to respond effectively, which I think was the essence of Robert's question. There's been a fire station there for 100 years, a lot of development. Are we going to be able to respond effectively? Um, where's the information? First of all, I've asked where the information is going to be. It's all just important about you to go and say this name. It's totally in front of you there. It's, it's the actual uh, covering of the debate. Speak up. Is that that? Yes. Okay, yeah. so in terms of where you can get the information, there's an awful lot more information that we've been able to present to you this evening, and it's all covered in the supporting documents with the plan. And it covers things that are covered in there, how we've, how we've addressed things like population density, the growth of population in London, the ways in which we've accounted for that in terms of the plan. So I encourage everyone to read the actual plan and all the documents itself, because it's been impossible to go through that level of detail uh, uh, in one presentation in this way. In relation to the lady at the front in terms of uh, around Bow Fire Station, yes, there's been a fire station in Bow for a long time. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean the risk will be on there for the future because London changes, the way we're able to respond changes, the way London is protected changes as well. So whilst there is uh, in the development plan for Tower Hamlets an increase in population, as the, as the presentation already showed earlier, there's been an increase in population over the last 10 years already, but despite the number of incidents and number of fires we've seen have actually gone down by about a half. So you don't always link increasing population and increasing residences to an increasing number of fires, because actually the way in which they should probably be dealt with is by making sure that developments that do take place are properly engineered with proper fire safety and fire prevention means in them. And I think that means sprinklers, and that's one of the reasons why the authority is proposing to lobby very hard for sprinklers in domestic accommodation, because we know that's the way to save lives in the future. Thank you, Commissioner. Uh, Paul Embry 